Hey guys, Nick with Two. How do you do? This video is gonna show. You, I'm just gonna show you um, what I did today. I finished up the friction folder. I heat treated the the blade and uh, put some grooves in the handle. Um, so here it is, open all the way. Uh, I used black and red G10, but the red turned out to be really quite dark. Um, so, if you can see that, let's try and focus, you can see the lines in there, but it kind of actually looks kind of brown, um, but in person it's just a really dark, reddish, reddish brownish, um, so not, um, uh, quite what I wanted, but Still pretty cool. So I have uh, two standouts back here, uh, just holding the holding the uh, handles on, and then a spacer or standoff here, serving as the stop, uh, and then the quarter inch pivot. I have a pocket clip here. I stripped one of the screws, so I got to find another one um, to fit it. And actually, this one stripped as well. Um, but it's stuck in there, so I gotta figure out how to take that out. Basically, these screws are just crap. You gotta find a better hardware, stronger, tougher. Um, even though these are quite small, uh, got a thumb set on here, so you can just. What I do is pu push it halfway open and then push it uh, down on the tang, and then it stays open by, of course, friction. I have two, uh, two uh, washers on each side, um, bronze, phosphor bronze bushing, bushings um, on each side so that the outer one uh, touches the wall of the G10 and then the inner one touches the metal and allows it to uh, glide smoother. Um, good handle shape, fits, fits my hand well. Just curves right into that the palm of your hand, my hand and then the four fingers just close around it and then you can move up right here um, to the very edge of the blade if you need to I did a, I didn't do a full flat grind but I did a f basically a full convex all the way up and uh, there's this one blemish right here you can see And, uh, but that's the only blemish that it, uh, I did. I went a little too deep on the grinder. Got a phone call here. That'll go away in a second. Basically did a little drop point. And then, uh, a little short tang. Didn't want a huge tang, but you don't really need it on it. You can open it just fine. I haven't done any backspacer work, so I didn't put a backspacer in there, but in the future I might. So, we may see. Um, of course, with being a friction folder, you can get it very centered very easily. Um, not much work to do there unless you warp the blade with the heat treat. Um, sharpen it up, and guys, if you don't have a strop, oops, I'm telling you, these. Just using a strop real quick, it makes the biggest difference in uh, at least my sharpening of blades. Um, it just just so much. Let's zoom out here. Sorry. So much finer edge. Let me go get a magazine. Here's one. Uh, Yeah, you can see that. Just a very, very smooth edge with the with the stropping. Very happy about that. Let me get a piece of pine or something. Here's a pine board. Just uh, looking. Three quarters of an inch, inch thick. 
Let's see how. Well, it cuts. Are you seeing this? Hopefully, you're seeing this. See how well it shaves. I can get that curly cues. There you go. So it performs pretty well. Um, not really going to do so much hard cutting with a friction folder. Um, let alone any folder. So, yeah, the edge is still fine, even though that was really nothing. Um, yeah, really happy with this. Um, probably gonna make, be making one or two more, but I have to order some more hardware. Um, but until then, I'm probably just going to be working on some uh, fixed blades, and then once those are sold, I can get some more materials or more folders. And uh, yeah, really, really happy with how it turned out. This was my first one, so I was prepared to let it go in a learning exercise, but it turned out really well. Really happy with it. Really happy with the edge I put on it. Um, just with that strop it just is so much better um, so if you don't have a shop I recommend you getting one uh, future on the future fix some folders I'm gonna do I'm probably gonna change out the pocket clip probably change out the screws because those screws are pretty crap um, but uh, for me this is just fine really strong retention actually I had to bend it a little bit more but other than that, uh, this thing is awesome. Um, so, guys, remember, keep your knife sharp. Keep your mind sharper. I'm Nick Wu, too. Thanks for watching.